So for this PowerPoint, I'd like to spend some time looking a little bit about Hamlet's thinking, especially as applied to death. From the beginning of the play to the end of the play, Hamlet is fixated on death, and this is the central uh, topic or subject of his thinking. So in the beginning of the play, we certainly see, I guess what we could call a hyperbolic wish for death. Uh, when he is alone, he wishes uh, that the Almighty had not fixed his cannon against self-slaughter, that his own flesh would melt, resolve, and thaw into a dew. He seems to uh, believe this kind of Judeo-Christian of the view of the afterlife that uh, his father presents to him uh, with his sufferings in purgatory. And uh, despite the in uh, kind of initial melancholy that he certainly seems to be uh, associated with, by the conclusion of the first act, he is very eager to exact vengeance on Claudius. He says essentially that he'll delete everything in his brain uh, and thy alone, a commandment all alone shall live. Uh, and so uh, Hamlet seems to be geared up for a kind of murderous vengeance uh, here at the beginning of the play. Moving into Act 2, though, uh, where we see him even more uh, in this space where he's lost his mirth and he's having a hard time accounting for uh, the melancholy that he's experiencing. Uh, again, we know that he's seeing the world through gray colored lenses, and this prompts a rebuke of himself in his second soliloquy. He rebukes himself sarcastically for his bravery in being unable to revenge the murder of his father and instead just walking around saying words, 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 which leaves the audience kind of wondering, well, what's his deal? What's his hang up? Why, what is keeping him at this point in the play, especially from pursuing revenge? He, he suggests a doubt about the nature of the ghost. And we wondered at the time, is, is that good doubt? Or is he just finding an excuse to keep himself from murdering Claudius? What exactly is going on with Hamlet that has that accounts for this shift? End of Act 1, ready to revenge. All of Act 2, spinning his wheels uh, and unable to make any movement.